it should come as absolutely no surprise, but this place is pure chaos. What's going on guys? We have made it here to Turkey. We are going to be in Istanbul for the first three weeks, but we will be in Turkey for a total of hopefully three months. So we will be doing many different adventures in the country while we're here. Today's video will just be basically a first impressions of Istanbul. So we're gonna be walking around, checking out some of the popular tourist destinations and trying some of the most famous foods here in Turkey, which I can already tell you, there are so many amazing things that we can try. We're here staying in an area called Üsküdar, which is on the Anatolian side or on the Asian side. I think we're gonna head down to a place called Kadıköy and we're gonna catch a ferry over to the European side today. I think our first destination will probably be Hagia Sophia or the Blue Mosque. So let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Okay, first thing I wanna say about Istanbul already is that the taxi drivers here are absolutely insane. The guy was driving like 150. Uh, we've made it down to Kadıköy. We're not gonna stay here for very long, but we're gonna go get ourselves a quick little snack. We're gonna stop and get a Turkish bagel, or I guess they call it a simit. Yeah, it looks like a pretzel, so I'm really interested. Yeah, so we're gonna go grab one and then uh, head into the European side. What is it? What does it taste like? Bread. Just bread? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we probably made a bit of a mistake because I'm sure we can get ones with stuff inside, and we just completely missed it. But we'll get some more or something. there'll be some other good stuff that we're trying. So we just took the ferry from Kadıköy to Kadıköy. I'm probably butchering the pronunciations of this, but I'm gonna try my best to pronounce everything. But well, we're walking across this bridge here now, and we're gonna head to, I think, Hagia Sophia first, as it's the closest one to us. I think uh, behind us, there's a few other places that we can go to. There's a place called Galata Tower, which I think we'll check out a little bit later as well, maybe tomorrow. And we're in between two mosques right now. This one is the Blue Mosque here. And we're going to try to go to Hagia Sophia, which is just behind us here. The queue's are really long right now, so we might have to wait a little bit, but it's really beautiful so far and we really like it. We just finally got through the lineup and I think we made a huge mistake today. We went out a little bit late. I don't know if it's normal, but the Hagia Sophia was actually closed for a couple hours. So we were waiting in line for like two hours to get in and it was just an absolute mess. So if you do come here, I recommend doing your research before coming and checking what time of day it is and what the best time to come is because during peak hours, it's absolutely crazy. There are so many people, but enough of that. Let's go check it out and see what the wait was all about.
half wait in the queue was definitely worth it. We both haven't really been into a mosque like that before. I've been into some smaller mosques in Bali and Indonesia, but Hagia Sophia really impressed us. The architecture is amazing, the artwork inside and the ceilings are so tall, it's, it's really beautiful. So as I mentioned before, we definitely dropped the ball by coming out super late today. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that we wanted to do today are actually going to be closing soon, so we've decided we'll save it all for tomorrow. And today we're just going to walk around a park, I think it's called Gulen Park, and we're going towards a place called Chopkapi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's right in front of us. It's a little bit of a palace. It looks really beautiful actually. So we're just gonna wander around and then afterwards I think we're gonna go get some uh, traditional Turkish food. I'm really excited for that. Oh, I can't wait. I think we'll call it a day after that. So we're actually not gonna buy tickets to go in there, but you can kind of see, I guess, the inner courtyard from just getting through the gate. The gate is what's right behind us here. Yeah, it's uh, really pretty though. The grounds are really nice. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And the whole park here is really nice. And it kind of looks like Disneyland almost. But yeah, I think we're ready to go get some food now. Okay, so we've just come to a Turkish restaurant here near to where we've been today. And what have you got there? I've ordered two things here. So I've got a raki or a raka mm -hmm. and an ayran, which I've heard is like a, a yogurty, salty drink. So all right, so let's give the raki a try first. That's good. They mix it a little bit with water here, and it has a bit of a black licorice taste. Similar to ouzo, but mm -hmm. actually I like this better, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now let's give the iron a try. Oh, that's very different. It's really salty. It's like salty yogurt. Mm. I might need to have this one a few more times to let it grow on me. And we have some sarma here, which is like a stuffed grapevine leaves. I just want to point out that sarma is absolutely amazing. It's basically the exact same thing that I used to have in Greece all the time called domatis. This is like one of my favorite foods in the world. Me too, they're one of my favorite meses. Okay, so our next dish that we or have ordered is called borek. And I guess it's like spinach and cheese rolled inside of like a phyllo pastry. And I don't know what that is, but that looks interesting. These are my absolute favorite things. I love them. <laughs> I miss these so much. I love these. I've actually never had these before, so I'm gonna give it a try as well. Yeah. All right, let's see. They're hot, by the way. Oh, oh my goodness. This is amazing. I think it's feta that they put inside. I think it is feta as well. I think I might have said that there's spinach. This one doesn't actually have any spinach in it. It's just kind of like a cheese pastry type thing, but man, this is good. This is really good. Okay, the last thing we got here is the thing I've been most excited about. It's called manta or manti. And basically it is somewhere between tortellini or some kind of a dumpling basically. And they mix like this yogurt sauce and I'm not sure what else is on there, but it looks absolutely incredible. Give that a try. I like the yogurt and the sauce mixed together. It's really good. Mm. It's really nice. You can definitely taste the yogurt flavor. The oils in there is really good. It's got a bit of a lemony flavor as well. It's delicious. As I mentioned before, we're going to be in Istanbul for three weeks and in Turkey probably for three months. So I can imagine that there will be a lot of this in the future. And we'll be eating a lot more food in our videos as well. Mm. Alright, so all that food that we just ordered came to about 34 US dollars. And I'm 99% sure that if we weren't in a tourist yeah. area, it would be much cheaper. So. It's quite expensive for Turkey, but I think it's yeah, definitely worth the money, but we'll be looking for some more local places to eat as well soon. We're just about to leave this area now and head back home, but uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's another day here in Istanbul. We're going to go try and be a little bit more successful with what we do today. So we're going to try and maneuver a bus down into Taksim Square. We're going to wander around that region there and then probably head back to the Blue Mosque and hopefully we'll get a little bit luckier today. We have a new friend. Another thing we've noticed about Istanbul is that there are so many stray cats and dogs here, but we have heard that they get treated very well and the locals here consider them like their pets, I guess, so it's really cute. Okay, 
so we just got off the bus. It took us around 30 minutes to 45 minutes to get here and we're now in Taksim Square. We're just going to check the square out. It's quite cool actually. There's a big mosque behind us and it's really big. And then we're going to go and have some breakfast, which we're really excited for. traditional Turkish breakfast and we're going to try this restaurant that is quite well reviewed on Google and YouTube and it's called Van Kavalti Eve. I probably didn't pronounce that right but I think Kavalti means breakfast. So. Breakfast has arrived and I've ordered here something called menemen and it's got sujuk in it which is sausage and I apologize if it's really loud in here I'll try my best to, to explain all of this. Turkish breakfast also comes with some eggs some different uh, butters and jams, I believe. I'm not so sure what that is. Maybe honey and yogurt. There's some different cheeses here and olives. Yeah. And I've got fried egg with sujuk and a Turkish coffee. Yeah, I'm really curious about your opinion on that Turkish coffee. I've heard many things. It's a nice looking feast here. It's delicious. Yeah, it's good. I have tried this before and I remember it being very strong. <laughs> yeah, it's very strong and very great. <laughs> Okay, that breakfast was really filling and nice. I really enjoyed my eggs with sujuk and my Turkish coffee. Did you like yours? Yeah, it was amazing. That menemen was so good. And Turkish food in general is amazing, but that breakfast was the one. <laughs> We're just walking around this area called Istakal or Itzakal. I forget the name of it, but it's a shopping street here and it's a really beautiful area. But we've walked down into this subway station now, and I guess this is the second oldest subway line in the entire world. It's called Tunnel or Tunnel, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's kind of like a funicular system, it's really hard to see it, but it actually goes downhill. And we're gonna take the train down to Galata or near the Galata Tower and just kind of wander that area as well. So correction, this train actually takes us to Karakoy, so we're gonna go down to Karakoy, Karakoy, I don't know how to pronounce it, and we're gonna walk back up to Galata Tower. Tower. I was just reading about it and it says it's one of the oldest towers in the world. It was built sometime in the 4th century, which is absolutely crazy to think that they built something like this back then. It's really beautiful. Those were actually bats flying around the top of the tower there. That was pretty cool to see, but we're actually not gonna go up it today. We're gonna save that for another video in the future, so stay tuned for that. This tower, it's really cool. I'm really impressed by it. We've just come to this place here now that was recommended to us for baklava. And yeah, we're gonna go and get some baklava and hopefully it will be good. Um, are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> Seems like there's a variety to choose from here, so we're gonna see which one tickles our fancy. Okay, so we just ordered five pieces of baklava with pistachio. I guess this is the traditional one, but we're not quite sure. And we got a chai and a lemonade to go with it. Delicious. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Much more elegant than I was going with the fork. Yeah. <laughs> How good is that? So nice, so sweet, very good.
We wandered a little bit far from where we were earlier when we got our baklava, but we are now Actually, I don't know where we are to be honest, but we are by this place here, which is called Valens Aqueduct. It's this really cool wall going right across this major highway here. I don't have any history for it, unfortunately. I don't know how old it is, but that is a uh, really, really impressive. down to our next stop here which is a very very famous place here in Istanbul. We are here in the Grand Bazaar. It's already been a little bit crazy just getting here. Hopefully we find lots of nice things to buy. should come as absolutely no surprise but this place is pure chaos so the market here is really big and it looks like there's loads of different things but unfortunately everything seems to be like designer which isn't really my cup of tea so You're not interested in any gucci or balenciaga sorry <laughs> <laughs> so despite that place being absolutely chaotic and not really our vibe considering we don't normally go shopping or buy any of those kind of things there are some really amazing things in there that you can find like some artifacts and antique type things and lots of turkish teacups or tea glasses i'm not sure what to call them but it is a really beautiful place and there is a lot of history i think it's about three or four hundred years old and it's one of the largest covered markets in the entire world so it's definitely worth visiting but prepare for a lot of chaos there are many many people in there at once So as per usual with our first impressions videos, we have come full circle and we are ending in one of the places that we started in as well. Except we went to Hagia Sophia the first time. This time we will be finishing at Blue Mosque. It's actually one of the last destinations that we're gonna go to, but we're gonna go get some food after this as well. So we'll share that. Blue Mosque is the one you've been looking forward to, so. The mosque looks really beautiful, so I'm really excited to go to that one. We probably won't go in it though, as the lineup will probably be crazy again, but we're gonna go check it out from the outside nonetheless. One thing I forgot to mention yesterday is that the Hagia Sophia behind me is 1,500 years old. The Blue Mosque over here was built in 16 something, 1600s. That's all I know, but yeah, these two places are absolutely incredible. The fact that you can see one and turn around and see the other, it's very impressive. So for a long time now, I've wanted to visit mosques like this and experience this, and I think now they're doing the cold prayer. I'm not exactly sure, but it's really cool. Both mosques are doing this currently. stop for the day today is we've come out for some food and I've ordered this thing here I forget the name for it shalgam suyu or something like that it's a turnip juice and I guess it's kind of spicy so I'm very intrigued about this I've heard about this before I don't have any idea what it's gonna taste like but I'm very curious all right moment of truth with this uh, turnip juice it smells very strange oh wow that's good it is legitimately spicy it's very flavorful. Can I try it? Mm-hmm. In a weird way, it's kind of like drinking salt water, but I know that doesn't sound good, but this is this is good. Let's see if Lauren likes it. <laughs> it's weird, right? It's like cranberry juice with salt and spice. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to describe it, actually. Cranberry juice, but spicy. Yeah. Spicy it's cranberry not my juice. Jam, but this is your jam. This looks absolutely bomb. So this is Eskander, which is basically doner with like a tomato sauce on it. Lauren's just got a, I guess, a regular doner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming this is gonna be very good. It looks yummy. So this is basically becoming a food video, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this Eskander here. Let's give this a try. Mm. 
That meat's really tender and the tomato sauce is delicious. Turkey has not disappointed yet with food, that's for sure. Okay hey guys, we've come back to Gulen or Gulani Park, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is one of our favorite places here in the city. It's really calm and quiet, so we thought we'd come here to do our outro today. We didn't get a chance to do absolutely everything we wanted to do in the video. You know, this is just kind of, like I mentioned, our first impressions of Istanbul. Just exploring just mostly the European side, to be honest. But we've really enjoyed everything that we've done so far. You know, I really love the Galata Tower and around the mosques as well is really beautiful. Grand Bazaar was a little bit crazy but I kind of enjoyed it yeah and I really love this area all in this park both mosques unfortunately we didn't have time to go in the blue mosque today and because of what happened yesterday in the queue at Hagia Sophia we just figured we wouldn't risk it again but we are definitely gonna go there and probably off camera so that's the thing we you know we're here for three weeks still so we're gonna be spreading some other activities out through other videos that we'll make for you guys hopefully we will be able to do Istanbul justice because this city is absolutely massive it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I can already guarantee you in the three weeks we're here we're probably still not even going to scratch the surface of what there is to do here. If there are any other places that we missed or some recommendations that you guys would have for us please let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll link our Instagrams down below. We'll see you guys next time.